How's it going guys? Today we're going to be working on this Hyundai Genesis. We're going to be polishing it and then we're going to apply a McKees 37 paint coating. After. So right now we are going to wash it. I'm using extreme foam formula. I added a, uh, about an ounce, ounce and a half of all-purpose cleaner to help strip and decontaminate the paint before we start the polishing and coating process. We are going to foam it down and then we are going to also use a, tra a traditional two bucket method system to wash, decontaminate and get the surface clean. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start foaming the car. I already cleaned the wheels. It's not that hot out today. I added a few ounces of all-purpose cleaner in the buckets and in the foam gun. I put 914 in my rinse bucket as I always do because in my testing, I have found out that 914 clean cleanses your wash media and lifts the dirt off exceptionally well. So I always add about an ounce in my rinse bucket. The paint condition on this car, it's got swirls, but it's not horrific, which is a good thing. So, starting to get a little hotter. What I like most about using extreme foam formula in the bucket is even when you use a lot of water and solution. Just put the hose back in. And we'll do that for more. Okay, let's get her dried. I'll be drying with uh, my McKees 37 turbo car dryer. compressor is very very vital when you're applying a coating because if you don't get all the water out of the cracks and seams and if you're coating it the same day which we plan on doing water will come out of the seams and that could really interfere with the with the bonding and the and process that goes behind the coating properly bonding to the paint <laughs>
Okay, we're ready to start the decontamination process. I'm going to be using McKee 37 N914 at clay lube ratio. Uh, the reason why I'm using this is it doesn't have any waxes, it doesn't have any gloss enhancers, doesn't have any polymer protection that it leaves behind because we are going to be coating this. Now I know we're going to be polishing it, but I still don't want to put anything that's unnecessary on the paint that we we don't want it to be there. We don't want anything foreign that could interfere and mess up the bonding process with the coating. We want the paint to be di directly on top of the coating. We don't want no glass gloss enhancers, no polymer, nothing like that at all. So 914 isn't going to leave any protection, no waxes or anything like that. So in my mind, puts my mind at ease that I'm not adding any waxes, gloss enhancers, or anything like that to decontaminate after we're done after we're done with our uh, polishing we're going to be using N914 as our panel wipe to remove any oils that may be left behind from the from the polishing process. Okay, so the paint is nice and smooth now. Feels really, really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the decontamination stages and once we're ready to start the polishing steps, I'll bring you guys back in and we'll go from there. This car has a front clear bra that comes up about 25% uh, up the hood and there's, a, there's a, a really, really hard edge on the clear bra and you don't want to get any polish in between that edge because it is a nightmare to remove. Don't ask me how I know. So I put this tape line down as a visual indicator to know, you know, to back off and to protect the, the edge just in case our pad does hit the edge. That way we're not going to have any issues and I don't have to spend any more time trying to remove the residue that's in between the edge. So it took about one minute to tape this off and that could save me literally hours of time trying to remove all the residue from the edges because it is very very difficult to do. So let's start the polishing process. Okay, we uh, officially found out what pad we are going to be using throughout the whole car. We're going to be using a blue cutting HDO orbital pad from Lake Country. The unique thing about these pads is how cool they run and the amount of pressure that you could apply to them without them getting squished. So they're very, very resilient and very, very tough. So traditional pads, when you apply a minimal or a decent amount of pressure, they'll squish and the mechanical movement of the machine stresses, stresses out the pad and as it gets hotter it gets softer and you lose your cut. So what I found out is you could actually get away with using less pads than what you traditionally would when you, when you use foam. If I'm doing a two step I tend to usually cut with microfiber. Um, however, if I am doing a one step, this, uh, these HDO orbital pads have, have really been uh, really been impressing me lately. So again, we're using fast polish. The pad is already primed. The panel is coming out really, really nice and impressive.
they actually work pretty well in uh, contours as well. Well, I'm applying about 15 pounds of pressure, but the pad still isn't getting squished, which means I can get more cutting and finishing ability. I love how easy fast polish and all the fast lines, how easy they are to wipe off. I'm not using IPA, I'm using 914 at panel wipe ratio. And what this does is it's going to strip all the polishing oils. Now, it's not capable of stripping waxes or sealants but it is going to remove all the polishing oils or residue that I might have missed so the coating could properly bond so I don't have to worry about using IPA causing streaks and IPA has horrible lubrication. I don't want to spray IPA, wipe it with a towel and risk towel marring. So with this, it, it, you know, you could use this as a waterless wash, so it has excellent lubrication. So you spray this on, and it glides across the paint, and I don't have to worry about scratching or leaving towel marring. And I don't have to worry about leaving uh, polishing oils behind as well. So keep an eye out in the future for a video on how to mix that up. The, the detail ratio for panel wipe is 1 to 8. So I will be making a video soon, explaining and talking more about that. But for now, uh, let's get this other side done. We gotta get this car done. the coating we're done with the polishing we used n914 as the paint prep so all the polishing oils have been removed uh, the McKees paint coating is really really easy to apply the key is to add a heavy amount of product when you apply one spray you're gonna notice that it's grabby and you're gonna notice it kind of ghost into the panel the key is to build up a layer so it could bond over the paint so once I start to feel it getting a little bit more grabby, I spray a little bit more product and now it's gliding very, very smooth. And that means that I have successfully built up a layer of product over the paint. So apply one more spray, rub it in. So now, I'm going to have two microfiber towels. Uh, you typically want to have two different colors, one for the removal. And you'll notice how slick the area is that you applied the coating. Then I use a second towel to buff off what might be any residual streaks. And just like that, we're coated and protected. So let's do this other side. Again, if I apply one spray, it, it feels a little grabby. So you wanna build up that layer so it could bond to the paint. Okay guys, we're all done with this Genesis. Turned out really, really nice. Very, very happy with the outcome. 
paint looks soaking wet. soon pick it up Tire gloss. Tire dressing. 